What is up, YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional here. We're here for another beautiful day in this wonderful world. We got the sun setting over there, and we got a special vlog going on for you guys here today. I'm going to show you guys how I build my grave blankets for my family. And what we do is another holiday part of my spiritual thing that I do. Um, I do this for my grandfather who passed away a couple years ago. Um, my great grandparents, we put some down, and also for my grandfather's family. They date back to the 1860s, so we go back and put some um, couple on there for them to keep them warm, their souls warm during this cold winter. For the boys and the and the gods and the goddesses, you. Okay, to show you guys what what I'm working with here now. Okay, this is what I got from the tree farm and they I guess they get these and subcontract them out from someone else because they say they're from Shatley Farms in North Carolina any of the boys know where this is from uh, give a shout out to Shatley Farms but this is basically just a mixed reef it has a different uh, different types of pine in it you can see this little long hair and basically I'll just put like a red ribbon or you know something like that on there and dress it up a little bit and then as far as these these are all the loose cutting pieces and what I'm gonna do with these the dream is to kinda lay them out kinda like a fan like that kinda build it up a little bit tie them together and decorate them and then we just go and plop them on the grave like that to keep the soles warm All right, boys, we are on a mission right now, right here, right now. We gotta go to the dollar store and we gotta grab some of that um, Christmas decoration stuff. Some of the, some red ribbons to put on those wreaths. See, look at this beautiful reality that we're living in. I mean, really, you go to the store and like this is the beautiful picture that you see. So, Mop God's truly blessed in his reality in this moment right now. And I hope all you other boys are too out there living your dream. boys as you can see right now we're heading to the Dollar Tree we're gonna get these decorations and we're gonna get this show on the road we got to keep these souls warm Thank you. Thank you very much. I see, I guess we made out at the dollar store. We got $5.34 worth of stuff. And um, I don't know, we'll see how we can make it used. It's always better when this is uh, keep life stuff, but uh, not everything can be keep life all the time. Okay boys, the dream continues one more step at a time.
Okay, basically you see what I did here. I just used this um, green wire here as it's 24 gauge, one quarter pound green wire. And I just wrap it around a couple times, tighten it up just to get it. I mean, it doesn't have to be really, really um, tight in there, but just so nothing's gonna be falling out of there. Really, it's just gonna be resting there on the ground and next step is to I think I'm gonna trim a little bit off and then decorate it and then we gotta knock this one out for the dream it continues is zebra in there? yeah Okay, we got these put together so far and now we got to do some decoration with them and see what we can put together for the dream. And there's our little bell right there and we have some of those pipe cleaner deals and our little ribbon and um, rosemary in there. Whatever type, whatever herbs I had left in the box, I'm putting their power into the grave blanket. And I did the same thing over here with this one used the last two ribbons up got our little bell there and then we got our herbs right in the middle and I have them outlined with the gold thing because the herbs are the gold really in this whole process and this is very simple to do I did this pretty much with trash and five dollars um, and it uh, it'll make that holiday mean that much more to you because you put in this hard work get finished up with this show you guys what I got going on here I might make a couple final touches to this um, before I put them down on the actual grave site but for right now it's time for dinner so you gotta follow your dream and follow that belly mmm too hungry okay boys we got some um, improvements that we got done on our grave blankets today when I was out working I was scouting for materials some more fresh materials that we could put down on there to make it more homemade and I'll show you guys what I came up with okay I found this holly tree today at a property so I went and clipped the branch that needed to be pruned so we have this nice looking holly with this nice red fruit on it and then we have um, this is from a crepe myrtle tree we were doing some pruning today of some properties so I have some crepe myrtle um, spent flowers and some dried hydrangeas and then we also clipped a couple uh, pine uh, trees down so that's a little bit of pine tree and then I also got some more fresh herbs there we got some fresh rosemary and some sage that I added in here okay so basically I just dress these up a little bit and I put some of the dried um, leaves on there some ornamental grass leaves and put some more sage on there just to dress it up a little bit so that's what it looks like when I was working today I came across this um, fishing hook there so I tied that on my grandpa was a real big fisherman and I also put that on to this one here they had this rig and I attached it to the dude that little guy there that I made so this is the one that I'm gonna put on my grandpa's grave to signify that's him in the middle there with his fishing hook and we got our sage there and our herbs our holly there and our rosemary, our ribbons, and our dried flowers, and that's a that's a pretty nice grave blanket.
It is your boy. We're here for this special celebration on the winter solstice today where we put our grave blankets down on our family's uh, grave plots. You. Ciao. There we go. They go back to the 1866s. They put them in the ground here in 1937. They've been in this ground since 1930s. That's pretty crazy. And that's uh, great grandpa Henry. He's the one who started this uh, whole Myers clan down here, I guess. That's Uncle Loman. Uncle Loman was a big football star. He was in World War One, and he's been in this ground since 18 since 1976. At least he had a good part of the 70s. No, they just they got they died in a car accident, but not in the same year, together in in another reality. Okay, we're about done with this spot now. If any of you boys ever pass Route Nine and you see that Kiker building, just remember the Mop God's relatives are in the ground right across the street from that. If you look hard from the red light down there on the Black Horse Pike in Route Nine you can see the Mop God's grave wreath here. And if you really care, you can come in and say what's up to my uh, deceased family members. But it was important for us to get this done today on the winter solstice, on to the next one. You. trying to find my um, grandpop's stone it's somewhere around here I think anyway
You. What is that apple bite? What do you mean? This. That's a gravestone. Why is it already in the ground? Why is it in the ground? Oh. Well, see, this is this is the one where they stole the thing out of here. Why did they steal it? I don't know why. Because it's worth brass. It's worth money. Someone stole it out of there. We need an edger next time, man. Forget scissors. We need, like, the edger. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you they're the grave blankets, but they make they didn't I don't think they made them. Those look neat though. What what is this called? I don't look like something that's grave, no? Yeah. It's it's a real it's real though. Uh -huh. But that's not plastic, but they sprayed some shit yeah. on there, huh? And that's real too. Yeah, that looks neat. That's for the wife and the No, I'm grabbing my uh grandpops one. I made this one specially for him for his grave. Here, I'll explain the elements of this to you guys again. We got the bell that we put on there. This is for his e eternal noise. We have the holly here and the pine as the decoration. The sage in the middle and some lavender and rosemary to keep the spirits away and also welcoming them. We got the little statue dude that I did with my grandpa there and he's got his fishing hook right there so we can fish in the afterworld and we got our dried hydrangeas and our dried crepe myrtle tree there so we're gonna take this to his gravesite And then we got the sage there and the cedar and the lavender to protect the spirits. And then I put the holly on there and then all the dried things. We got the life and the death in there and the grave blanket. Mm -hmm. Very artistic. It's because this is zoysia grass that's all in here. This is zoysia. See the difference in the grass here? Because this holds up well in the summertime without any water and it grows differently. So this is like old time grass that they that has to be put in with plugs and it grows together. Like this is all different grass. You can see the difference in it. Grass from the zoysia. Show you guys some traditional grave blankets here. I guess everybody does a, something a little bit differently. Um, most of the times you can just buy them some way. And then sometimes people make their own like I did. But I'll show you guys some different ones here. I like this one over here because it looks like it's got some fresh holly in it. It has pine cones and they use the ribbon. I don't know who all these people are. We'll have to read all the graves if you really want to know. All right, we're done with this exhibition. Glad you guys could come along on Mop God's uh, winter solstice part. And we got this accomplished for the boys, for the family. And I hope you like the way Mop God put together his grave blankets. You, Peace out. See you guys next time.